The Rio Tinto Sports Innovation Challenge is a project for engineering students across the whole faculty, um, primarily civil engineering, bioengineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, but other departments are, are also part of it, to do projects that are specifically for disabled athletes. We're relating it closely to the Paralympics because Rio Tinto responses of the Paralympics, it's something that allows us to have access to these Olympians, which is fantastic, but also provides real engineering projects for students where they have an opportunity to make a fundamental difference. Rio Tinto is the official medal provider for the medals for the London 2012 Olympics and Paralympic Games. We're also a long-term partner of Imperial College and as a major mining company it's very important for us to work with bright young engineers as a potential recruitment stream but also to see the opportunities that can come out of working with disabled athletes for the good of the sport. One of the things that we've noticed in engineering is that our students require projects that are directly related to real life. Real projects where they work in groups, where they're supported in those projects through manufacturing facilities, manufacturing support, design support, but where they actually have to achieve something, have a customer, have a client. And in this challenge, in this project across the faculty, we're able to provide that, um, and that's what we're excited about. We've been at Imperial College today having a workshop with a range of disabled athletes and coaches and technical experts who are helping students kickstart their projects. Um, through interactions with Paralympians, through interactions with industry, through interactions with the manufacturers, with those who are actually working with the athletes, the coaches, the biomechanists, the equipment um, technicians, the students are really being exposed to real life engineering. We have an ambitious and explicit aim, which is to have a piece of equipment that our students have designed and developed, implemented, in use, either in preparation for the 2016 Paralympics or being used in the 2016 Paralympics. This is highly ambitious, rather exciting. The students know this is what they're going towards and we're looking forward to them achieving that. A project is aimed at double arm amputees because currently they can't take part in adaptive rowing. So we want to uh, adapt the inside of a rowing boat so they can use their leg power and their back power only to power themselves through the water. We've split rowing into two motions, the horizontal motion of when the oars are going through the water and back out through the air, and the vertical motion of how the oars are going to come out the water in the first place and return to the water at the end of the stroke. So looking at the horizontal motion, we want to keep it as close as possible to normal able-bodied rowing, in, and in able-bodied rowing the feet are fixed, and it's the seat that moves back using the power of the legs. And by keeping to that design, we're keeping our feet fixed and the seat will move back. And this is going to be causing the horizontal motion and the oars are somehow going to be fixed to the seat. That's the easy bit. <laughs> the vertical bit of how we're going to make the oars come out um, of the water, we're going to do by a rotational movement of the back of the seat. So the seat is going to rotate when they're at full extension. And by this rotational movement, we're somehow going to manage to produce this vertical motion. This is a model of our design. It's a very easy way to visualize uh, the ideas that we've been drawing on, our, on the blackboard. As you can see, there's a horizontal movement and a vertical movement. The horizontal movement will bring the oars uh, from the catch position to the finish position. And the vertical movement will bring the oars out of the water and back into the water. Ideally, once our design is finalized and we've built a prototype, it'd be helpful um, to work al alongside athletes to get an idea of how our design is going to operate under certain conditions. I felt the workshops today uh, you know, went really well. The students were very enthusiastic, um, certainly had some great ideas. Um, and hopefully I was able to give some of my experience and feedback with prosthetic legs um, to them uh, and they were able to use that so that going forward the projects that they're on will hopefully be a success. Ultimately for me this project is about partnership so while we're investing heavily in making sure that students have the resources to be able to fabricate and design um, sporting equipment to help disabled athletes, for me the, the greatest outcome is going to be the exchange of ideas, the ability to work with Imperial um, and build on that long-term relationship. This challenge provides the inspiration and the context for the students to do something significant within a narrow field though, but we recognise that through achieving for disabled athletes in general, they can have a much broader health benefit 
much broader health impact for people who are disabled, but also for able-bodied people. Because once you start developing technologies that are customised, that are specific to an individual, you can start having a much broader impact.